all right so here we are um, another hopefully quick tutorial on another one of Adobe uh, Adobe's AI tools in Photoshop and Lightroom um, this is going to be the background removal tool so we do that there's uh, selection tools and they're basically four selection tools there's the brush the lasso the polygon lasso and the magnetic lasso I have. Um, and for this one we're just going to use the brush um, I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit because I want to do something a little finer with this so we're going to outline this guy but I'm going to try and leave some of the stuff between his legs and the reason is that is the AI will then try and use that to um, generate the background and it might be a little more natural now if I let go of this it should fill in and it does now you need to look at this area right here because here we have a shadow and so he's casting a shadow so um, I wasn't the first one to find this out uh, it was pointed out somewhere else but um, if you don't remove this shadow then the AI thinks oh there's something casting a shadow I maybe should put something in there and so it'll put something in there and that's not good so we're just going to eliminate that shadow there we're going to hit generative fill we're not going to add anything because we just want the background and then we're going to generate and it's thinking and it's thinking and it's going to generate <coughs> basically three variations give you three options to choose from uh, initially and there we are um, so remember he was right in here so look at that one we have that one that one's going to look too bad you can see that one looks pretty good we got to look at the this part here is the most important part i don't like that one that one may be the best so it's either that one or that one i think we're going to choose three now if you wanted to you could hit generate again and it would give you three additional um, variations to choose from and i've done that a few times give it you know give it another chance um, but what you need to do now, since this is a separate layer, is, is if you don't flatten the image, then any changes you make to the picture are going to be uh, only to that one area, that one little area of the picture. So we go to Layer, Flatten Image, and boom, there you have it. Background removed.